The Moto G6s are finally official. The Play, the Plus, and the regular G6. The G series has always represented great value for money, so it's little surprise you get 18 by nine screens, biometric security, Android 8, and a front speaker on here at a lower price point than a flagship smartphone. But how do these phones differ? Starting with the G6, and this is a Snapdragon 450 device with either three or four gigabytes of RAM and 32 or 64 gigabytes of storage. There's micro SD card expandability as well. You've got a 5.7 inch IPS Full HD Plus display in that 18 by 9 aspect ratio. There's also a respectable 3000 milliamp battery inside and a curved glass back, adding real premium element to the mix. The rear cameras are 12 and 5 megapixels, the second camera to capture depth effects, and you've got an aperture of f1.8 on the primary camera. In addition, the front camera is 8 megapixels. Motorola also boasts some smart AI scene recognition across these devices, so head over to TechRadar to read up more on that. As for the G6 Plus, this is the one to watch if you want ultimate G series power. However, this device will not be coming to the US. Loaded up with a Snapdragon 630 processor, this has either four or six gigabytes of RAM, and on top of that, 128 gigabytes of optional storage. That's flagship beating, not to mention micro SD card expandability as well. It's slightly larger than the G6, 5.99 inches, still 18 by nine, still full HD plus, and as a result, it has a slightly larger battery, 3,200 milliamps. The selfie camera is once again eight megapixels with a rear camera sporting the same resolution as the G6 as well, but the aperture is f1.7 and you have 1.4 micron pixel sizes on the primary sensor, so you're gonna get better low light performance. Finally, the G6 Plus is the only one that can shoot 4K video as well. Wrapping up on the G6 Play, and this is a G series device for anybody who wants stellar battery life. The Play has a Snapdragon 430 processor paired with three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, and you've got a 5.7 inch 720p plus display. Now these more moderate specs should indicate better battery performance anyway, but when you couple that with the fact that the G6 Play has a 4,000 milliamp battery, you'll easily be able to get one, maybe two days of battery out of this thing. Dropping the dual camera from the mix, the G6 Play comes in with a 30 megapixel rear camera and an eight megapixel front camera. The G6 Play also has a micro USB at the base versus a USB-C found in the G6 and the G6 Plus. What's cool about these devices is that they charge up quickly thanks to turbo charging and they ship with turbo chargers in the box. Now, Motorola didn't just announce the G series today. They also announced the E5 Play and the E5 Plus. These are all competing, the Gs and the Es, with the likes of the Honor 7X and other mid-range devices that bring some fantastic features to a lower price point. For more on all of these devices, including pricing and availability in your region, keep it locked to Tech Radar. Thanks for watching.